Today I'm coming to you from Advanced Town Lake. Now it's called Advanced Town Lake because the original township of Advanced Town now lies underneath the water here. So this lake exists uh, when Hins Dam was built. Uh, so this is the water catchment area for the Gold Coast where I live. Um, and it's a really lovely area. Oh, look. It is. It's a... oh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well. I need my bigger lens. Pelican is flying away. Anyway, I'm here for sunset and uh, I need to get a move on because the sun's just about to head behind the hills and I need to scout out my area and work out where I'm going to take a photo. But I did today want to talk about two things that I think are probably the most important thing with landscape photography, or at least they are to me. But uh, yeah, let's get scouting and I'll talk about them later. just disappearing behind the hill. Um, I've been running around <laughs> taking photos. I really needed to get here a bit earlier. I did mean to get here earlier, but uh, you know how it goes sometimes. You just get caught up and it doesn't happen. But I think uh, this will be a spot I'll definitely come back to. I wanted to come down here when there was a whole lot of, you know, good sky and, and uh, there's no clouds around at all today. Saturday I was going to come and it was completely covered in clab. Which brings me to the first thing that I think is so important with landscape photography, and that is enjoying yourself. Enjoying yourself no matter what the conditions. And, you know, to me, it's great to take an, a, a really good photo, but nothing beats just having a really good time when I'm out. So that's my first my first most important thing. So that first thing of making sure I'm enjoying myself, I've always been fairly mindful of that. The second thing though, it took me quite a while to work out. And that is to actually make sure that you, at some point, put down the critic's hat and actually enjoy your finished photography. Now, usually what I do is when I go home and I'm going through, I be very critical of my work um, when I'm sorting it out and I'm editing. And I'm always thinking, sorry, there's birds and things. Yeah, I'm always thinking about what I could have done better, how I could have improved, what I'd like to change. And in terms of improving as a photographer, I think that's really important to do. But when I first started, I never ever put that critic's cap down. So I didn't ever allow myself to just go back and enjoy looking at my photos once I was done with them. And I think that is really, really important that when you're finished and you've got your final output and you've thought about what you'd like to improve and things like that, put down that critic's cap and just enjoy your photography. Now, the best way I think to do that is to print them out and put them on your wall so you can look at them. Now, maybe sometimes you wanna change them and that's all cool, but just, yeah, make sure you do enjoy them. I just saw what I think was an eagle but uh, might have been a hawk or something slightly smaller but yeah pretty cool unfortunately didn't catch it on film all right I'm gonna stick all the photos up that I took uh, it wasn't the most exciting light, but it was a good little scouting trip to 
show me what's what's here and uh, know that I need to come back and I'll definitely will when the weather looks like we might get some good sunset color. I reckon I'll probably come down here uh, for the sunrise too because then we get some nice light along these hills over here after the sun gets up over these hills over here. <laughs> So if you enjoyed the vlog today, make sure you hit that like button because it helps other people to find it too. If you've got this far and you're not subscribed, why don't you hit that subscribe button so you can come along with me next time I head out to rainforests or beaches or whatever awesome spots we can find around here on the Gold Coast. Alrighty, I'll catch you all next time. See ya.